What if I told you that everything you've ever known, every star in the sky, every planet, every atom in your body, began smaller than a grain of sand? No space, no time, no light, just nothing. And then, everything. 13.8 billion years ago, there was no sky, no earth, no galaxies. There wasn't even space where things could exist and no time for anything to happen. There was only nothing, no direction, no sound, no light. And yet, inside this absolute nothingness, the entire universe was compressed into a single point. A point so dense, so hot, so unimaginably small, that the laws of physics themselves break down when we try to describe it. Then, in a moment shorter than a trillionth of a second, everything changed. The universe began. The Big Bang was not an explosion inside space. There was no empty room waiting to be filled. Instead, space itself was created in that instant. Time itself started ticking. Reality turned on. The universe expanded violently, faster than the speed of light, stretching outward in all directions at once. Energy flooded existence, so intense that matter couldn't even form yet. As the universe cooled, this raw energy began transforming into the smallest particles imaginable. Quarks, electrons, neutrinos. The most basic ingredients of everything that would ever exist. Within the first few minutes, something incredible happened. Quarks bonded together, forming protons and neutrons. These combined into the first atomic nuclei, mostly hydrogen, some helium, and just a trace of lithium. That's it. No carbon, no oxygen, no iron. Just a simple, hot, expanding universe filled with glowing plasma. For hundreds of millions of years, the universe remained dark. No stars, no planets, no light. This period is known as the Cosmic Dark Ages, a time when the universe existed, but had nothing to see. Slowly, gravity began to reshape everything. Tiny variations in density, barely noticeable at first, started pulling matter together. Hydrogen gas collapsed into massive clouds, growing denser, hotter, heavier. Until suddenly, the first stars ignited. These were not gentle stars like our sun. They were giants, hundreds of times larger, burning ferociously, living fast and dying young. Inside their cores, something revolutionary happened. For the first time, simple atoms fused into heavier elements. Carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, iron. Elements that would one day form planets, oceans, DNA. And when these stars died, they exploded in colossal supernovae, scattering those elements across the universe. Every atom of carbon in your body, every oxygen atom you breathe, every drop of iron in your blood, was forged in the heart of a star that lived and died billions of years before Earth even existed. You are not just in the universe. You are made of it. And this, this was only the beginning. What if I told you that Earth was born from the death of a star, forged in cosmic fire and shaped by endless violence? What if the planet you're standing on survived asteroid storms, oceans of lava and toxic skies, only to turn chaos into life? This isn't science fiction. This isn't a myth. This is the true, unbelievable story of how our world and every living thing on it came into existence. Around 4.6 billion years ago, long before Earth existed, something massive happened in our corner of the Milky Way. 
A giant star reached the end of its life. It exploded. A supernova, one of the most powerful events in the universe, shattered that star into clouds of gas, dust, and heavy elements. Iron, carbon, oxygen, the raw materials of planets, and life. Those remnants drifted silently through space for millions of years, until gravity took control. The cloud began to collapse in on itself, spinning faster and faster. At its center, pressure and heat rose to unimaginable levels, and suddenly, a new star ignited. That star was our sun. Around the young sun, a massive disk of gas and dust formed, a cosmic construction zone. Inside this spinning disk, tiny particles collided and stuck together. Dust became pebbles. Pebbles became rocks. Rocks became planet-sized bodies. Violent collisions were everywhere. Some objects shattered, others merged, and slowly, the planets were born. Close to the sun, where heat was intense, rocky worlds formed. Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Earth. Farther out, where gases could survive, massive giants like Jupiter and Saturn took shape. But Earth's birth was anything but peaceful. Early Earth was a molten nightmare. Its surface was an ocean of lava. Volcanoes erupted non-stop. Asteroids slammed into the planet again and again, delivering both destruction and something unexpected. Water. Many scientists believe that icy asteroids and comets bombarded Earth, bringing enormous amounts of water with them. As the planet cooled, water vapor condensed, and then it rained. For thousands, maybe millions of years. Rain filled the lowlands, oceans formed. For the first time, Earth had liquid water, the single most important ingredient for life. But the atmosphere was deadly. No oxygen, no blue skies, just methane, ammonia, carbon dioxide, and toxic gases released by volcanoes. Yet this hostile world held a secret advantage. Energy. Lightning cracked across the skies. Volcanoes pumped heat from below. Ultraviolet radiation blasted the surface. And in the warm, shallow oceans, chemistry turned into something more. Simple molecules, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, began interacting. Under the right conditions, they combined into complex organic molecules, amino acids, lipids, sugars, the building blocks of life. Earth had become a natural laboratory, running experiments non-stop, day and night, for millions of years. Eventually, some of these molecules formed structures capable of something extraordinary. They could store information. They could copy themselves. This was the turning point. From non-living chemistry, the first primitive life emerged. Simple, microscopic organisms floating in ancient oceans. They didn't think, they didn't see, but they were alive. Over billions of years, these simple forms would evolve, diversify, and reshape the planet. They would fill the atmosphere with oxygen, create ecosystems, and eventually give rise to complex life, plants, animals, and humans. Everything you see today, every tree, every animal, every person, traces its origin back to exploding stars, violent collisions, and a molten Earth that refused to stay dead. This is not just the story of Earth. It's the story of how chaos learned to create life. And this is only the beginning.